Welcome back to the channel, y'all. This month we have the Six Cents Premium Sack for the month of July. I'm excited for this one. Let's see what we got here. I just got it the other day. Oh, snap! This, I could have used this the other day, actually. The Splashback 70. I love the color. It's a black magic. Uh, beautiful color. Nice slip to it. I'll bust it out real quick so you can take a look at it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that cup. Look at the eyes. Look at the color of it. It's absolutely fantastic. Look at that. It's nice, sharp hooks. Yeah, look, at, I like the blue. Ah, oh, it's fantastic. And that is the Splashback 70. God, I wish I would have had that this weekend at my tournament up in uh, Mosquito in Ohio. Next up, we got the Crush 250 MD 5 8 ounce 70 millimeter. It's a chartreuse sungill. Uh... This thing will die pretty far. Uh, let's see here. Mid to depth range, 7 to 11 feet. How far this thing will go. Beautiful color to it. Should work all right. Uh, fantastic color. Nice hooks again. Got that big bill. It's got the loud thumper. It's a one knocker. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. I like the eyes on it. Nice sticky hooks. Again, that is the 270 MD mid depth, I'm assuming. So, 7 to 11 feet, which would be great on our waters here in Ohio, especially uh, the Thursday night tournament. Next up is the Crush 50X. Crush 50X is it's a 4K shad. I think I got one of these. Something similar to it. I think I used it. Uh, beautiful color again. Uh, again, nice stout hooks. Nice line tight. It's a square bill. Look at the eyes on that thing. Beautiful pattern on the top, on the side. Nice little 3D. Uh, feels good in the gill, the gill plates and everything. And it's, uh, it's got a little bit of rattle to it. So you'll end up, uh, this will go down to, uh, what they say, uh, two to five feet square bill, typical square bill color. Yeah, that'd be good in clean water, even in some dirty water. Because of the rattles. Crush 50X. Oh my gosh, this is the third one in a row. Yes! Yeah. Here we go. It's a metal 2.0. Half ounce dives two to five feet. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look at that. The chartreuse. It's black. Look at the eye. It's got a black red eye. A little orange in the bill. This moves. So it's got a hunting action. And your line tie. Right there. So it's kind of like two but two baits in one. It's a square bill and almost like a chatterbait style. Very nice colors. Awesome. Looks fantastic. That's the third one in a row I got, and I'm excited that I got those. What else is in here? What, what, what? Ah, ha, ha, wacky hooks. Size number one. It's five of the wacky hooks, so you can do some wacky rigging. Imagine there's some soft plastics in here. What do you think? Think so? I think so. 
Uh, Divine Hybrid Jig. Half ounce. Candy Bluegill. Could be a swim jig or you can even uh, drag it along the bottom. Love it. Love the colors to it. They do a great job on their colors. It's amazing. They do a great paint scheme on all of it and everything. So that is the Divine Hybrid Jig. Ah, what I tell you. So you get wacky hooks. We got the clouts. These time, these time. It's a 5.4 inch black and blue fleck. I love it. These are really good in, uh, in your, uh, they say muddy water, but I've experimented on some things and I've actually caught fish with black and clean water. So that might be pretty good as a wacky rig in clean water. So I'm going to try those out. What else we got? I think this is it. It's the last thing. Stroker crawl. This would be good on the back of your jig. Pair these two up. Anyway, the stroker crawl here is a 3.3 inch watermelon candy. I love it. I love the collar. I love the, uh, the flake in it. It's pretty nice. Again, this is the uh, Stroker Crawl, 3.3 inch. So I think that is all we got for today out of this bag for for the six, the sixth cents uh, premium sack. Just to recap, we got the uh, Stroker Crawl, 3.3 inch Stroker Crawl, which would be great. On the back of this hybrid jig head or a jig, the half ounce jig, candy bluegill. You got the clout, it's a black and blue fleck, which is uh, really great because you got wacky hooks that you can pair up with them. These two together, it would be nice to do a wacky, wacky style or Nico style if you want to put a nail weight in there. Uh, we have the Axis Metal 2.0, bright color. You know, surprisingly, if you have some clear water, you can use these bright colors down, like if you can get deep with these. Those bright colors will actually trigger bites. It's something different. They don't see it down there. Pretty nice. Can't wait to throw that. The Crush 50X, Square Bell 2.0. Two to five feet. Very nice. Uh, we have the the 250 MD, five eighths ounce. It's your uh, mid to depth range. It's a mid to depth range, seven to eleven feet. It's your chartreuse sungill. That'll be really good on our lakes here. And last but not least. It's the Splashback 70. Love it. Nice, hot, sunny day. Use this thing. Just like your frogs. And it'll mimic a, uh, a wounded bait fish. It'll come up and hit it. So, out of all these uh, baits here, um, this one's a tough one this month for me. I like them all. I'm not going to lie. I like these all. Especially when it comes right now. I'm fishing in Ohio. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. My third one in a row. Nice little uh, Metal 2.0. Axis Metal 2.0. Um, if you haven't done so, please subscribe. I uh, hit that uh, notification bell each time I upload. I actually have a couple uploads. I have a... Uh, I have a Thursday night tournament was last week, and then I also have a BFL that I participated in. Uh, my GoPro was acting up, and plus it was raining off and on, so 
I can only capture a few things on it, but I was excited about it. Caught my first fish. That actually went across the stage, so I was excited. Thank you so much, and God bless. We out of here.